Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus who comes to us in this Eucharist. Let us humbly acknowledge our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, have do all these things. 
Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God. There is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord. For he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds rain just down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to ask you, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, 
sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today invite us to look at the mighty and great works of God, for they prove to us that our God is the real and true God. Tingnan natin ang mga ginagawa ng Diyos sapagkat sa Kanyang mga gawa, nakikilala natin na Siya ang tunay na Diyos. In our first reading today, the Lord repeatedly said, I am the Lord, there is no other. But he did not just say that I am the Lord. He also said the mighty deeds that he has done. I form the light. I create the darkness. I make well-being. I do all these things. The mighty works of God tell us that he is indeed the true God. In our gospel today, John the Baptist, who was already in prison, sent two of his disciples to Jesus to ask, Are you the one who is to come? Are you the Messiah we are waiting for? Or should we look for another? And how did Jesus answer the question of John the Baptist? Jesus did not simply say, Yes, I am the Messiah. Go back to John and tell them, I am the one you are waiting for. That is not how Jesus answered the question of John. How did Jesus answer the question of John? Jesus said, Go back to John and tell him, what you have seen and what you have heard. The blind regain their sight. The lame are able to walk. Lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. And the poor who always receive bad news receive good news. Go back to John and tell him about what I have been doing. The mighty works of Jesus will prove to John that Jesus is indeed the Messiah. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today remind us not to simply Listen to words. If you want to know the real character of a person, look at his works. Many times, we are easily swayed by beautiful words. Agad-agad tayong nagpapadala, agad-agad tayong naniniwala, sa magaganda at mabubulaklak na mga salita. We easily believe in promises. 
But the true character of the person is tested not by their beautiful words, not by their promises. The true character of a person is tested by their works. If their words are translated to works, then that only shows that they are trustworthy. But if their words remain only words, yung pangako na natiling salita at hindi naman ginawa, mapagkakatiwalaan ba yun? Or are we just being fooled? My dear brothers and sisters, the trustworthiness of, of a person does not only rely on words. Kahit na napakaganda ng mga pangako, kahit na napakaganda ng mga salita, hindi mapatutunayan kung siya'y katiwatiwala o hindi sa salita lamang. Tingnan natin ang kanyang gawa. That is why Our readings today invite us to look at the works of God. Do not simply listen to the words. Look at God's deeds. And the deeds of God will tell us that He indeed is trustworthy. Because the words of God did not only remain words. The words of God became a reality. The Word of God became flesh. The Word of God became man. And isn't that what we celebrate in Christmas? My dear brothers and sisters, tonight we shall begin our novena, our simbanggabi, in preparation for the coming of Jesus. We will hear the promises of God as we have been hearing these past weeks of Advent. But in Christmas, God will tell us, my word, my promise will become flesh. And because of that, we could trust Him always. My dear brothers and sisters, do not just listen to words. Look at the works. For they will tell us if a person could be trusted or not. Please stand. We offer our prayers with one heart and mind to the Father, who not only forgives sin, but also heals the wounds caused by sin. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may be a sign of God's mercy, pardon and forgiveness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those who have drifted away from the church through sin may discover the forgiveness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that families who are divided and estranged from one another may be brought together by God's healing, love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and hope through our prayers and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may now enjoy the light of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass.
God our Father, help us bring your pardon, forgiveness, and peace to those we meet. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly, to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving works through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed that His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design You formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word. word. And, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall begin tonight our Simbangabi Masses from tonight until December 23, our Masses will be at 8 o'clock in the evening. And from tomorrow, December 16 until 24, our Masses will be at 4.30 in the morning. We shall continue to have our regular Masses at 7.30 in the morning and 12.10 in the afternoon. All these Masses will still be live-streamed, especially for our brothers and sisters who cannot uh, attend Mass uh, physically and uh, those who are sick. Tonight also at 9 o'clock after our first Simbangabi, we will still have our weekly Healing Rosary for the World, which will be hosted by the Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish, Tugatog, Malabon City. And so we invite you to gather once again as a family and as a community. And together, let us implore the intercession of Our Lady because she is the perfect person to prepare us for the coming of Jesus. And may these days, as we approach Christmas Day, be days of intense preparation of our minds of our hearts and of our lives so that we may be worthy to receive Jesus who comes to us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.